สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Mud's Kitchen everyone Today I am going to be making ข้าวต้มมัด So it is banana in sticky rice We normally wrap this with banana leaf in Thailand But since I have moved to the UK It's very difficult for me to find banana leaves Or if I find some It's really expensive So I found that using grease proof paper is a brilliant idea And it works so well I will also leave my tips underneath the video So before further ado, let's get started I am using medium low heat here And I also add my sticky rice straight away After sticky rice, I'll be adding my coconut milk I add all of it And then I will be following by sugar and the last ingredient I'm going to add is salt so at this stage you want to stir it all the time because you don't want the mixture to get burned as we have coconut milk and sugar together so yes keep stirring it takes about 10 minutes it will come off the pan like this it means the sticky rice is ready now turn off the heat and then I want to spread out my sticky rice to let it sit and cool down and now we just set this aside hey here it comes our favorite part is our creative part as we do not have banana leaves why not be creative with this so let's cut the paper i am going to um, cut this paper into 17 centimeter times 17 centimeters I will only need um, 12 sheets for today but you can prepare more or less depending on how many bananas you are using today Next, I am preparing bananas I have measured these bananas They are about 17 cm long So I am going to cut them into 3 parts But if you prefer, you can do half as well So now our sticky rice is nice and cool I am using about 3 tablespoons of sticky rice And I am also adding some red kidney beans as well that I have cooked them before But if you do not want beans in your sticky rice, you can definitely just skip this because it's just an optional Bear with me, we are nearly there, I promise you. Now I am um, wrapping the banana with sticky rice. At this point, you can adjust the amount of sticky rice. If you have too much or too little, you can always just take it out or add a little bit more in. Now we wrap the banana and sticky rice with paper. We also want to make sure here that we don't wrap the sticky rice too tight and we leave the edge of the paper underneath like that. Now we are closing the two ends of the paper. What we want to make sure here, we want to make sure that both sides are closed nicely because we don't want water to get in there when we steam the sticky rice. Now, I am going to tie the two packages together. I'm using elastic bands, but if you do not have them, you can use rope or what you have available at home as well. So, yes, I am um, using the elastic band to tie them both sides. What I have to make sure here, I don't um, want to tie this too tight because um, sticky rice will expand a lot more when we steam it Okay, now we are ready to go We are going to steam them I am going to use medium to high heat and steam them for about 10 minutes At this stage, we have to make sure that we do not put them on top of each other because we want them to cook evenly It's going to take about 10 minutes to steam 
Let's have a look after 10 minutes. Mmm, look at that. They are so pretty. So as I told you before, when we steam it, sticky rice will expand. So that is the reason why we don't want to tie the banana and sticky rice too tight because the elastic band will cut them into pieces. And we do not want that. What we want here, we want a whole chunk of banana in sticky rice. And I am going to show you now. This is what we are looking for. It's the three beautiful blocks of banana and sticky rice look at this it is glossy soft and rich with coconut milk my goodness i need a cup of tea now i will see you next video bon appetit everyone สวัสดีค่ะ